What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel Design with Cracker. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to implement active state on one page navigation using the WordPress menu. Now this is what I'm talking about. So you can see you know that the menu item has an active state once the section you know that it anchors to scrolls into view and this is done using the default WordPress menu inside Oxygen. Okay, we're in Oxygen. I've gone ahead to set up my sections and here are the steps. So what you're going to do is you're going to create a section. Let's say for instance, start with the hero section. Okay. And then you're going to assign it a class of anchor section. So let me assign the class of anchor. I'm not supposed to put that dot. Anchor section. Okay. And then now I'll go to size and spacing and then I want to change the height of that anchor section to a minimum height of 100 VH. So now that ensures that it always stays, you know, in the viewport. That's a minimum height. After that, you want to have, you know, the total number of uh, sections you want to have will have to equal the total number of your um, nav items. For instance, I have six navigation, you know, menu items here. So I have, so that's, that is one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, I want my, um, you know, I want my logo to, to link back to the hero section. So that is a total of seven. So that is why I have the hero about features, gallery, client, pricing, team. All right. Now the footer is not included. So the next thing we're going to do is to make sure that all of them have this class. So I'm going to assign the class of anchor section to all these from about to team. Okay. So I'm going to do that. Anchor section. Anchor section. All right, so now the next thing we're going to do is go to each section and change the ID to the name of the section. Example, the about us, okay, and the hero will have an ID of hero. So I'm just going to change it to hero, okay, and then about will be about and so on. Make sure you get the spelling right. You don't want to mistake features. Sometimes it could be a, a hassle renaming this. So click two times to rename clients. Okay. So I have gallery here, clients, pricing. And you click that, you click one, two. Select all. Pricing. All right. So client, pricing, then team. All right. Team. Now we are done with the sections. Let's head over to WordPress menu to see how to set up the navigation. Now here's my navigation. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six items. And then this is how I set them up. You can see they are all custom links. So the first thing you need to do is to create your menu and then you add the nav items to the menu using custom links. Okay. And here you're going to add, for instance, for each link, Add the corresponding section ID you created in Oxygen. Now, after you're done doing that to all of them, okay, so you can see here the feature, um, you know, the name, the client, the gallery, all of them have the URL as the ID of those sections, okay? So you make sure that they're exactly the same. So that's how the menu is set up, okay? So and um, of course, you're using the same menu here. So how are we gonna um, how are we gonna add the active state? So let's go to the front end. All right. So right now you can see that we don't have an active state. But another thing I want to do is to make sure that this header, you know, is fixed header, so that we can see. In our example, you know, we're able to see this move because the header is fixed. Uh, to do that, I'm gonna go ahead and select the header wrapper, and then I'm gonna go to layout and set the position to fixed okay so um, it's always fixed and then i'm going to set the z index to like 20 okay 
and uh, because it is fixed we need to offset the hero top padding okay um, because it collapses and it's the hero goes behind it so it's getting too close so i'm just going to change this like 180 or to 200 okay so that works i'm going to save that and take a look at the front end and see what results we have so you can see we have a fixed header now the next thing i'm going to do is to launch the developer tools because i want to use i want to write my css you know right here first we're going to write a css for how we want the active state to look okay i'm going to manually add uh, an active class to one of the link items uh, to get a preview so what i'm going to do is to select a link item let's select the about okay so you can see here this is the about link item what i'm going to do is to click um, it did as html okay and then um, i'm going to add just class calls to active okay all right so now you see it has an active class so we're going to use that now because it has an active class we're going to use that to style our active class okay all right so i'm going to um, go to the style editor and add a new uh, style sheet so the first thing i'm going to do is uh, let's uh, we forgot to check the menu id okay so um, the nav has an id of split menu okay that's the id take notes the nav okay so um, I'm going to go back to that style editor Then I'm going to use the ID. I'm going to target the split menu. Okay. And the anchor dot active. All right. So I want to give it a color. Um, let's give it a 41E for FF. Okay. So if I take this off, uh, you see that color is gone so the, the styling is already showing okay so that is it so that's the color we're going to give it a border bottom uh border bottom and we're going to give it a three pixel solid and uh, we're going to give it the same color so i'm just going to copy that color okay and paste there all right and then the next thing we're going to give it a padding bottom bottom padding bottom of we don't want to make it zero pixel we want that to come close if it is too close why don't we make it like a one or two pixels let's see okay now i'm going to give it a transition okay um now we want to trans we're going to do a transition on the border color okay uh it's gonna give 0 0.4 second all right ease now it is important that when you're giving this transition you define okay you define the property because this is going to help with performance sometimes the transition might look wobbly you know and inconsistent you know for if you don't do this so it's very important you do that secondly since we've given the border bottom a three pixel value we need to give the original state the same value okay so that it doesn't wobble when we transit and we're going to set that to you know transparent so let's do that split menu okay a so not a active this time so we're going to give it a border bottom of three pixel solid and uh, make it transparent all right we're going to give it the same padding okay padding bottom we're going to give it the same value of two pixel so you can see the active class already has um you know has that styling okay all right so now we're done with the css next we're going to do is to write the js to assign an active class to the link item that corresponds to the anchor section that's visible in the viewport so what we want to do is you know if the about is invisible we want to assign the active state to about okay if the feature is visible we want to assign the active state to feature and so on okay all right so we're going to go to console you know what okay let's do that in the builder so i'm going to go back to the style editor and then i'm going to grab this code copy it and go into the detail uh there's one thing one important thing i'd like you to take note of now remember that we have just six um items that we have linked you know to our sections but we have 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sections. Now I did mention that I was going to use this hero, you know, I was going to link that hero section to the logo. Okay. So, um, I'm, I have to take off this anchor section because, um, when we're going to write a script, it's going to look for exact number of, you know, the section. So when it loops through and finds that there are seven of them instead of three, okay, for each section. Now, if, if it finds seven sections and then finds six link items, it's going to throw an error. So you're going to make sure that you have equal number of section as the link item. So that means I don't want to have this class, this anchor section class in the hero section. So I'm going to take that up. Very important. I'm going to add a code block. Uh, let me move that to the top. Okay. And then I'm going to drop in that, uh, that CSS that we wrote. The next thing we're going to do is to go in and write our JavaScript. But to save time, I'm not going to write it. I'm just going to copy what I already have um, and paste. Then I'm going to go through it. So I'm pasting this. Okay. Now, of course, so what we have here is Windows dot, uh, event listener, DOM contents loaded. Now that's going to make sure that all the contents are loaded before the script is executed. So we have a constant called section, a variable called section. Okay. And then that is assigned to the anchor section. So that it was anchor section. Let's see, section, not sections. All right. Okay. Now, um, and then we create a function called scroll active. Then we're going to check for the scroll position of the window. And then we're going to create variables. Okay. You know, so this is a for each loop. So section that for each section is going to go through and, you know, create a variable for the height of the section. It's going to create a variable that, uh, that calculate the distance uh, from the top of the browser to the top of the section. And it's going to subtract uh, 150 pixels from it. And it's going to create another variable that will um, grab each of the section's ID. So we create a, another variable here, which is an anchor, which is we call anchor. And that is, uh, we're doing document.query selector. Now we are, we are selecting each of the link item based on the section ID. Now we're creating a condition to check the distance of the section, okay, to the window, the top of the, the browser window. Um, it's going to add a class to the anchor, which is the link items. It's going to add a class of active, okay? So depending on if whether this condition is met or not, it's going to add a class or uh, remove that class. All right, and then we call that function um, once you scroll. So Windows that event listener scroll, then we call that function. So let's see if all we have a split menu. So you, what you want to do is to make sure, you know, that your menu um, ID here. Okay. So mine is split menu. Okay. So make sure you change that to the ID of your menu. So let's go to the menu once more. This is the menu. This is the ID split menu. So let's Let's check, make sure everything is okay. So that is the only thing and the, the anchor section. Those are the two things that, that you have to change. And I'm going to save this and let's see on the front end if it is working. So I'm going to just close this and refresh. Let's see. All right. So we've gotten to the about and voila. It's working. So if I click this, click this, click this. So uh, we don't have a smooth scroll. So let's quickly go into um, the settings, um, global settings, script, smooth, okay, uh, 400. And then let's save that, refresh. All right. So you can see that that active state is added. Now I want to link my... Um, I want to link my logo to scroll back. Now, if we come here and scroll, it's going to just stop here. So I want to link my logo to scroll back to the hero section. So I'm just going to go select that logo from the logo wrapper. Um, that's a link wrapper. So I'm going to just, now what was the ID? It was hero. So um, I should have called that home, but let's just leave it. So I'm going to go to the logo wrapper, um, just that call it hero okay so I want it to link to the hero so let me refresh so if I scroll all the way down all right that brings me back to home okay so if you like what you're seeing please go ahead and hit the thumbs up 
that's going to help others discover this video, um, which is a good thing for me. And so do me a favor and like the video. If you don't want to miss subsequent videos, go ahead and subscribe. If you haven't already, hit the bell icon. Thank you very much. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, drop them below. If you like this video, you know, hit the thumbs up, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think. More videos coming your way until then. Have a great time.